Hey everyone, so last time ang natapos natin is to yung paggamit ng select na command sa stad wherein we allow yung software to perform a single iteration of uh, analysis para piliin yung pinakamagaan that would pass yung provided na mga parameters natin based dun sa code na naka-indicate. So, dito sa video na to, what we're going to discuss will be about yung utilization ng select optimize na command. So, unlike yung select na command, yung sa select optimize kasi is gagamit siya ng multiple iterations. So, kung, ba kung babasahin natin dito, select, optimum, select optimized is a command that selects the optimum section size for all members using yung procedure consisting of multiple cycles of analysis as well as iteration on section sex, uh, sizes until an overall structure uh, list weight is obtained. Yung pinakamagaan daw. So, um, instead of using yung select, papalitan natin siya ng select optimize. So, what I'll do is activate yung code na gagamitin ko for my design. That's, that's uh, 360-5, 2005. And then, isa-select ko yung sa, sa command na select. And then, i-click natin sa command. Right? And then, uh, select optimize after current. And then, add lang natin. Now, hindi pwedeng pagsabayin yung dalawa. Select and then select optimize. So, I'll close this one. And then, um... Pupunta tayo dun sa utilize, utilities command file and then we're going to edit the inputs. So instead of deleting yung um, select command natin, gagawin na lang natin siyang comment. We will convert it into a comment by using an asterisk just before the statement or yung set ng code dito. So uh, with that, okay na yung ating command. So let me just close this and then Uh, run my analysis para makita natin yung result. So I'll just simply use yung control F5 on my keyboard and then I'll wait for my for the program to complete the calculation. Right? So mas matagal siya as compared dun sa previous na example natin. So Um, here we have some errors. May mga error tayo dito. So unlike dun sa first cycle lang, uh, we've incurred some errors here. So tignan natin yung content niya. It says na nag-fail daw yung member at number 7. Okay, so normal lang yan. Okay lang yan. It's part of yung design workflow. So actually, may mali dun sa ating input. So I forgot na uh, sabihin na may correction pala. So, we open yung command file. There is a redundant command na nakalagay which is causing yung yung error. So, uh, doon sa drift check natin, uh, hindi na dapat kailangan maglagay ng change command doon sa in between. Kasi ito yung sa my X and then ito yung sa Z. So, tanggalin na lang natin to. Okay? Hindi siya necessary. So, isave natin yan. And then, i-rerun natin yung analysis. Check natin ulit yung mangyayari. Alright. So, kanina, ang pinerform lang niya na cycle is dalawa, if I'm not mistaken. Dalawang cycle lang and then nag-error na. Pero, tingnan natin ngayon kung ano mangyayari. So, medyo mas matagal siya ngayon. So, second cycle. This time around, mas marami na yung cycle niya. So, by the way, I forgot to mention na multiple cycle, ibig sabihin, uh, ng iteration, uulit-ulitin niya yung parang, um, ang gagawin niya, select muna niya, and then perform analysis. And then, after niyan, kung wala pa rin, select ulit, perform analysis, select, perform analysis, paulit-ulit yan iteration. Commonly, dun sa mga older version, 2 yata, 2 cycles. Pero, yung bago, especially dun sa model natin na medyo hindi 
uh, hindi economical or hindi op, hindi hindi proper yung pagkaka-model na yung initial modeling niya. So maraming iterations yan. Palilitin at palilitin niya yung section. So ngayon, we've incurred 60 errors, meaning mas marami na yung uh, lumabas na error. Unfortunately, doon sa report na dito, yung dito sa report na to, um, it stopped until fourth iteration lang. So, kanina, when we were using yung merong change command just uh, in between yung ating drift check, so meron tayong drift check kanina, tinanggal natin and before we uh, remove pala, no, bago natin tanggalin, dalawang iterations lang, two still designs lang. Pero nung tinanggal natin, to naging four. So, I'm not sure kung bakit ganun yung case. But, anyway, um, dito sa mga still design natin na to, uh, bawat iteration, nag incur siya ng failure. As indicated dito. So, yung pinili niya, nag-fail. Pinili ulit, nag-fail. Fail, fail, fail. Pero tumigil siya dito. But, actually, pag close natin, let, let us close this one. And then, pumunta tayo dun sa sa utilization sa post processing subukan natin tignan <clears throat> right so let me just change my view into dummy right ayan pasado siya wala tayong failure all right so pasado So, for yung ating, um, meron tayo ng analytical properties and then yung design properties natin. So, as you can see doon sa um, ratio natin, optimized doon sa pinakamalapit sa 1. Right? So, closest sa 1. Unfortunately, may mga, so doon sa, sa select natin, select command natin previously, um, we have yung mga katulad nito. So, number 67. So, meron tayo nito. Um, ratio na na 0.0. O, masyadong maliit. But, dun sa first na video natin, mas marami yung ratio na kung saan ganito yung itsura. However, by, by using select optimize, um, medyo nabawasan yung sobrang over-design or yung parang uneconomical. Now, dito, normal lang to because, uh, of course, um, especially dun sa mga uh, bracing natin kasi hindi, da, hindi appropriate yung ginamit natin. Um, we can uh, certainly reduce this one up, uh, apart from yung mga columns natin. Yan, so, nag-fail siya. Ay, ano to? Ito yung mga uneconomical na sections. Um, meron tayong technique na pwedeng gawin uh, to reduce yung effect nito by using yung ratio technique. Um, so, yun yung mga pag-uusapan natin sa mga succeeding videos. Okay? So, yun lamang for now.